Anti-gunners love to bring up the low gun violence rate of places like the UK, Australia, and Japan. These comparisons are not the trump card that they think it is. If it was, America would be the number one country for gun violence in the world. America has the most guns in the world. We have the most people with guns in the world. And we have the most permissible gun control laws in the world. Yet, we don't have the highest gun violence rate in the world. We're not even in the top 20. We're 30th. Yet and still, anti-gunners will bring up places like the UK, Australia, and Japan saying, see, they don't have these problems because they have strict gun control laws. And to that I say, then how the hell did this happen last week? People in Japan are in shock over a violent murder. A senior member of a Yakuza crime syndicate was shot in a busy shopping district and in a country where guns are strictly controlled, the weapon appears to have been an assault rifle. The shooting happened around 5 p.m. Wednesday in the western city of Amagasaki. About a dozen shell casings were found at the scene. This is the automatic rifle thought to have been used. Experts say it's likely a modification of the M16. That's a model that was used by the U.S. military. People who live near the scene said they were worried. I'm terrified. There are lots of people around at 5 o'clock. What if I had been there? I could have been hit by a stray bullet. The suspect was arrested in Kyoto one hour after the shooting. He was surrounded by police vehicles. Then he threw a handgun and a rifle to the ground. He's believed to be an associate of the Yamaguchi Gumi crime syndicate. The victim was a senior member of a gang connected with the Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi. They're a crime syndicate that split off from the Yamaguchi Gumi. The two groups have been fighting over the past six months. The Yamaguchi Gumi number two, Kiyoshi Takayama, could be a focus of police attention. He was released from prison last month after serving six years for extortion. Police had been on the alert in case the feud between the two groups escalated. They're trying to find out whether the shooting has anything to do with the feud. Understand, Japan was the first nation to impose gun laws in the whole world. If Japanese people want to own a gun, they must attend an all-day class, pass a written test, and achieve at least 95% accuracy during the shooting range test. Then they have to pass a mental health evaluation, which takes place at a hospital, and a pass a background check, in which the government digs into their criminal record, interviews friends and family, and then even after all of this, they're still only allowed to own shotguns and air rifles. Yet, according to the multiple stories I read, this guy had a fully automatic rifle, a submachine gun, and a revolver. You can make all the laws you want. Criminals are going to get their hands on guns. And you know what? I'm all for making laws that attempt to keep the guns out of the hands of criminals. However, what I am not for are laws that attempt to keep guns out of the hands of criminals by taking them from law-abiding citizens or restricting their rights under the Second Amendment. Give us your guns and we'll keep you safe. The famous first words of every oppressive government. Governments love to use violent crime as the perfect excuse to disarm the people. Think about it. If we were to give up our guns and the government fails to keep us safe, do you think we can just go to the government and say, you know what, you didn't do your job, can we have our guns back? Come on, think about it, people. The Second Amendment wasn't written to tell us what we can do. It was written to tell the government what they can't do. No group of people have become safer by giving up their guns. 10 to 12,000 gun homicides in a country with over 300 million people is not a gun problem, especially when 80% of those gun deaths are in very specific areas in this country. Stop letting the media scare you into giving up your freedoms. Mass shootings account for a statistical zero in this country. And though Japan has little to no mass shootings, they still have mass stabbings. In 2016, 19 residents at a care home for people with disabilities was stabbed to death. In 2008, a 24-year-old unemployed man who wanted to end his boring life went on a stabbing spree, killing two people and injuring seven. In the same year, a 25-year-old man stabbed and killed seven people and injured 10. In 2001, a 37-year-old man killed eight children at a school. At the end of the day, anti-gunners are comparing the U.S. to countries whose citizens never really had a right to bear arms in the first place. We have over 300 million guns in this country and a freedom to own those guns. There is no other country like us. 
Our gun rights aren't a curse, they are a gift. You think the people in Japan have the ability to check their government? I don't know about you, but I'll take unsafe freedom over oppressed fake safety any day. Right now there's a culture war against the second amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you wanna keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.